Yo, Doc Rivers has never taken an L in his life, I don't think, bro. <laughs> My man, <laughs> he'll take an L and it's a dub somehow, bro. Yeah. He, like, he learned from the best. Yo, look, look, he, <laughs> he finessed his way into the Bucks organization. <laughs> like, that's still so funny to That's me. crazy. When they called Doc to be a consultant, I don't, even th- I don't even think Doc did nothing dirty, right? That's like, that's like, like, come on, man. It's not on. like he was retired. Like, if you call a retired coach to be a consultant, that's yeah. one thing. Doc just wasn't coaching. Yeah. He was not retired. Right. He was like, so what do you think we should do? Well, first of all, if I not was the I coach, do, well, that's <laughs> If I was coaching. If I, I'm not saying that I should be coaching, but if I was, I mean, it, and when he, I tell you, he went on the phone with Adrian Griffin. He giving him bad advice, yeah. and then coming back and being, look, I told him to do this, but he just want to do his own. Hey man, he just do his own. Hey. Ah, <laughs> that must be good at talking to white people. Yeah, and I, don't mean that is, I don't mean that it's no sort of insult. We all team. know that person that's team. so good at talking yeah, to white people. Bro. It's your team, though. Fair you know, like, how does Isaiah keep winding up in all these places or whatever? So you know how to talk to white people. Also, on TV? It's, it's also who's around you. Yeah. Like, it's the team, yeah, that, team. that knows yeah. how to plug and play. Yeah. And okay, we know where you stand at. We know you. We know what we're dealing with here. So we're going uh, uh, to put you. We strategic. So listen. So I, Doc, that's a tough one. Doc is a tough one, but it's, it's now it's, it, to quote uh, Stephen A, it's, it's egregious <laughs> because the motherfucker's coasting, the, he's coaching the all-star team, I know, dog. I know, but it's, that's like Ty Lue got to do with that time. Bro, with, he was uh, on when TV last week. Yeah, but that's not his fault. He, he was on TV that's last not, week. That's, like, that's, that's a screen, he said the screen. The strategy in it, like when you do the science behind it. Yeah. It's entertainment. Nah, it's just deeper levels of what we actually dis- discuss it right here. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Like, come on, it's, it's, you, know how, you know how to, it goes behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The second they asked him to be a consultant, he got on Zillow, right? Yo, listen, <laughs> this is done. Yo, listen, he the, hottest, he the hottest coach out there. Yo, that's but, not coaching. So, so okay. Hold on, hold on. He's the hottest coach that's not coaching. That's right, because you need a coach right now. You need a coach right now. So, right. you know what? I ain't, listen, we ain't going to put you, Doc, <laughs> away from the game. We ain't letting you go Dan Tony where we gonna, you just gonna disappear. Right. No, we gonna keep you around the game. You know what? We gonna give you, we gonna get you the ESPN deal, keep you, and now you gotta- In orbit. You, right, but it's, it's the level that they put you at at ESPN. Like you are calling <laughs> games as you are Hubie Brown. Like yeah, you, 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 you yeah. up there now. You right? got so, first take for two Right, minutes. so now as the league is looking for coaches <laughs> and it's like, who are they gonna go to? Right? I just we say that Mark we, Jackson don't know what you're talking about right now. I didn't know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Mark Jackson like what you right, mean. But Mark Jackson is, will agree with me, but yes. he's right. not gonna, he gonna disagree with the fact that it happened. Correct. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, but he gonna agree with the science behind it because that's the way that it should be. Right. Right? So Doc gets that, he stays in the atmosphere of NBA and stay at the top of the minds of the powers that be in the NBA. He's talking a game towards the GMs and, 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 and an exec. So if I'm looking for a coach, ah, he's calling the game. He knows it. Steve Kerr. Yeah. So I feel like- Steve I, Kerr calling the games at the highest level. Right. Yo, it is so funny you mentioned that because I never thought Steve Kerr was good as a broadcaster, yeah. but I had never considered that I was not his audience. Yeah. Oh yeah. His nah. audience was the, the dude That's that gave him a job. So yeah. Doc is like, you know, now you in the, you in, you, you in the circle. So you just chilling. I'm gonna call these games. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a call the games like I'm coaching though. Right. So I like, feel like you I'll just be coaching somebody. this game. Right. So I'm, if you watching, right, you like, oh shit, he's oh, he figured. knows what he's fucking right. Talking because about. now you got time to. It ain't right. no pressure on you to fucking study a game. And you got to scout 82 games and come up with 80, right. 41 game plans. No, you ready for two a week. You ready for two a week. <laughs> so you diving, you diving all the way in. So your your verbiage is crazy. Right. Like your your strategy, your X's and O's, the way you articulating that on the screen, people are looking like, oh shit. Doc, now I don't, the only part that pisses me off is how it went down. Right. You don't do that. That was like back channel shit. I don't know if he did that. I'm saying organizations don't do that. We got to hold them accountable. Yeah. You don't make a move like that, right? Right. And bring in another black man. This is where I'm going at with it. You don't get rid of a black man to bring in another black man and have those two black mans got to communicate with each other. No, it's, you can't do that. I never, if I was Adrian Griffin, I would have never took not one of Doc's phone calls. Doc no, said he want right? to talk to you. Tell Doc I'm busy. Yeah. It's, it's like the we, to my we men now. Like, and again, we men, but we black men, right? 
we got to really have a really serious conversation about you even looking at this job. Like right, you know right, how right. they treat me. You know how they how what we got to go through on this in this industry, right? Come on, Doc. Yo, have this right. conversation with me as men, black men. Yeah. Where we sit down and be like, you know what, Doc? I know the business. I know. Okay, cool. I don't like it. Cool. You coming in? You doing what you do? I'm gonna support you though. I'm gonna support you, Doc. Fuck everything. Right. Now, if we had that conversation prior, this whole transition would be a lot smoother and easier. And now Doc don't got to backpedal and, uh, uh, and, know, and, and, and give up the, the all-star. Like, no, there's ways you do that. Doc, you take it and bring Adrian with you. If that's the case, bring Adrian. Let You, you the head coach of the all-star game. Cool. Right. Let Adrian take the job. The NBA ain't going to say no, bro. Right. So he deserve it. As a player... As a journalist, why do why is it like, because you never see, like, for example, you've been doing this job over here at this other company for 15 years. You've had some success, but not like, yo, this dude is like breaking records, ah, ah, ah. But you still get a shot, yeah. and another shot, and another yeah. shot, and another <laughs> shot, and another shot, and another shot. Oh, Doc like, Doc like the rest of us is what you're saying. You know what Doc I mean? like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Like the, difference, the only difference between Doc job and everybody else's job is that Doc job on TV. But that what you describe is, yeah, well, I used to be the vice president, the, the uh, assistant vice president of finance over here. Now I'm the assistant vice president of finance president. over there. But a mere two years ago, I was working at this place. That's this how it goes industry. for everybody That's else. every industry. Except this one is more cutthroat, right? The right. competition level is different. The thing I think Doc gets, and I'm curious your take on this, it's been a long time since he had a bad team. Like, your team is not going yes. to be bad. His teams get into the place of not being good enough, not getting over the top. <laughs> but part of why that winds up happening and why I'm surprised they brought him into this situation, them dudes get tired of him. Like, when, like in this new run of players doing podcasts, when Doc first got that job, it was funny to watch all these cats that are now in their early 40s and see their eyes roll, the ones who played for him. Uh, and how they felt about the idea of him getting a job. And that's why it's so crazy to me that he keeps getting another one. Because we both know this, man. Players decide when coaches are done. And I don't mean that from a coach killer standpoint. Yeah. Once the players are done with you, you are done. There's no turning this around. There's no bringing it back. Once the players have had enough, you're going to be out of there. And that's what seemed to happen to Griffin. The players, for whatever reason, did not believe. Because NBA, that's a tough room, Jack. Yeah. Them boys have yeah. a they, they, You got to win them over. And people Yo. don't understand that. People don't understand that point. Yo, football season might be wrapping up soon, but Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Prize Picks is simple to play. You know what I mean? I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds, yo. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. and use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match up to $100. Yee. In the meantime, stay locked in at 7 p.m. in Brooklyn, you heard? <laughs>